Hi, I'm Alan Bresnik of Lie Reading. We're here in Philadelphia at the SCTE Cable Tech Expo. I'm speaking to Jerry Grove from Castor Systems. Jerry is the founder and chairman of Castor Systems. Mm -hmm. Hi, Jerry, thanks for joining us. Thank you, Alan. Very glad to be here. Sure. Jerry, I want to ask you, there's a lot of change going on in the industry right now. How is CASA poised for growth right now? Well, CASA has always been a leader in this uh, broadband uh, equipment uh, segment of, uh, of uh, cable industry. Mm -hmm. And uh, we led in the last three generations from uh, 3.0 to 3.1 to CCAP. Now right. we are leading in the true virtualization combined with the remote file. So we are you know, positioned very well for growth in this segment. How is NFV changing the communications industry and what's CAS's role along that curve? Well, NFV provides the opportunity for the industry to uh, really converge multiple services mm -hmm. into a single platform. That's what we're doing. We have the Axiom platform right. and we are building many different NFV functions, NFV applications on this Axiom platform. We already have the mobile applications like uh, Home you know, B gateways, Home no B gateways, security gateways, uh, EPDG, and uh, packet core, like P gateway and S gateways. And now we are releasing a virtual CCAP core. And uh, we also have the WAG built on top of the same Axiom platform. Mm -hmm. So a single platform enables us to put many different broadband applications uh, on top. It's interesting, virtualized CCAP core. We're hearing a lot about distributed architecture here at the show. Can you tell us about your virtualized CCAP core? Well, our virtualized CCAP core is actually the true virtualization of uh, the upper layer functionalities in CCAP as well as the Mac functionalities. Right. So we, we only put the file layer, the physical layer in the distributed node, right. and we virtualize the, the Mac layer as well as you know, subscriber management and traffic management, all the uh, routing, all the upper layer in the Axiom platform. Mm -hmm. And that provides much better economics in terms of uh, centralized processing as well as uh, operational benefits. So we are the only one uh, able to provide that at this point. Okay, so how is that different from what other providers well, are doing? Well, some of them are putting the Mac layer into the node, mm -hmm. which is equivalent to a virtual CMTS. Right. You know, you don't want millions of lines of software running in, in a few device uh, out of nowhere. Right. And uh, you don't want to drive over there to reset the, 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 the fiber node. Right. And uh, so we do it very differently. And uh, we virtualize the Mac layer into the, you know, in the head end instead of uh, you know, doing just the, the subscriber management or the control plane in the, no, in the, in the head end. Clearly, CAS is committed to virtualization. What do you see as the challenges that have to be overcome yeah. to carry out virtualization? Yeah. Well, uh, you know, virtualization is a very hot uh, topic. Right. And uh, you know, to us, it's not just a buzzword. To make it work, you cannot just show a prototype. You cannot just show that I have a server. I can run some control plane applications. Right. What we really need to do is that to scale this to hundreds of compute nodes, hundreds of servers. Right. The scalability and high availability is the key. And uh, you know, how do you manage a very large number of servers running the NFVs of different types? Right. And uh, that's. The operationally, that's very challenging, and it's different than running a single integrated CMTS at a time. And uh, you know, we basically figure out how to overcome the challenges in you know, a scalable uh, virtualization world, as well as uh, having a high availability, which is uh, equal or better than in the integrated uh, CMTS or integrated CCAP world. Should we expect to see cable operators start rolling out these kinds of solutions in the next couple of months, or is this more of a 2017, 2018 future? Kind of uh, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm not going to announce the timing yet, okay. but uh, you, know, you will see us uh, in the field. Okay, very good. And how big a market do you think it will be? Well, we believe that eventually uh, uh, a lot of the functions can be virtualized. Mm -hmm. There are different levels of virtualization and uh, you will see different levels of virtualization everywhere. 
and we see this is uh, you know uh, increase of the market instead of uh, you know shrinking of the market. Okay, so it's not going to take away from another part of the market. Uh, you know, it will take away some of them, but you can also increase, mm -hmm. uh, you know, the, the you know the functionalities in others. Okay, well, it's going to be interesting to see. It is. All right. Jerry, thank you for your time. Thank you, Alan. Sure.